Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Look, this is going to require some activism because this guy, remember this guy? Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. In fact, he's not leaving unless we do something about it right now. So this is going to require your activism. I'm going to be giving you phone numbers. I'm going to show you some specific things. I'm also going to share some alarming, eye-opening video for you. Watch this video to the end and then take the appropriate action because Mitch McConnell, the turtle, does not want to leave the U.S. Senate. He has basically handpicked, hand-groomed a couple of replacements, John Cornyn and John Thune. And to show you just how bad John Cornyn is, check this out. I'm a psychopath. I don't want him to be our, nom- be our president. And you're thinking, who's that guy? Well, that guy's name is Rob Jesmer. And Rob Jesmer, jo- uh, John Cornyn, has said that Rob Jesmer will be his chief of staff if he becomes Senate Majority Leader. And this is that he's managing partner at Plus Communications, as one of five plus principles, he develops strategies to navigate some of the country's most complex regulatory, legislative, and brand reputation challenges. In other words, he's all about selling you smoke and mirrors. But it gets worse. Back in October of 2016, Senator John Cornyn tweeted this out. I am disgusted by Mr. Trump's words about women, our daughters, sisters, and mothers. Probably wasn't disgusted about Bill Clinton, though. Understand that these are character actors. Nothing they say is real. And to show you just how bad John Cornyn is, look at his Liberty score. It is 54 freaking percent. People, he's basically a Democrat running as the Republican majority leader. He is Mitch McConnell. Okay, he is the uniparty. Mitch McConnell is not leaving if this guy gets in. And here, take a look at this one. Here's John Thune's Liberty score. From South Dakota, Ruby Red, South Dakota, Ruby Red, Texas. This is what we get from these places? This guy's even worse. 51%. He's voting Democrat half the time. This is the Uniparty in action. And Senator Rick Scott from Florida, he's pulling 86% Liberty score. I'd love to see 100%, but there's only three people running right now. And this vote is happening this week, Wednesday. You have just a little bit of time. You've got to light the phones on Capitol Hill up over this. Donald Trump is the Republican nominee. Would you support him? Well, I'm, uh, I'm hoping, Leanne, to have other options. So there you see again, John Thune being weak-kneed about President Trump. And the reality is neither Thune nor Cornyn would be willing to do what Trump has done. They're not willing to put their butts on the line. And in fact, John, oh, so if you go back to the years Mitch McConnell was there with Trump, there was, there's something called recess appointments in the Senate, right? And they are allowed. So when Senate is in recess, presidents can appoint people to these key positions because, you know, they all have to be confirmed by the Senate. Article 2, Section 2, Clause 3 of the U.S. Constitution states that the president shall have the power to fill up all vacancies that may happen during the recess of the Senate by granting commissions which shall expire at the end of next session. Well, in August 2017 alone, the Senate held nine pro forma sessions. Now, pro forma just means that you're in session, but you're not really in session. You're not doing any work. You just say you're doing work. Okay, let's just cut the crap on this. That's what a pro forma session is. And to stop the replacement of just sessions by Trump, by doing it via recess appointment, McConnell held nine pro forma sessions. They will work. This, Oh, God, people, I hope you understand. If this happens, the agenda you voted for is going down the tubes. The Trump agenda is going down the tubes if these rhino uniparty hacks are allowed to maintain their power. Here's another video. Before we go ever so briefly to summarize Capitol Hill response, so far as you've been able to gather it, to the civil verdict in Manhattan today against former President Trump. Two reactions worth noting from Senate Republican uh, leadership. John Cornyn of Texas told CBS News he simply doesn't think Donald Trump can get elected president. Quite a statement from Senator Cornyn. John Thune of South Dakota says America is going to have to decide whether it wants to deal with, quote, all the drama. After this verdict and the other investigations, not exactly a robust endorsement from top Senate Republicans. Trump can't win. Don't want to deal with the drama. Don't want to... Fake lawfare, and you don't want to deal with the guy, the drama. He took a bullet in the ear. I mean, he's almost been shot twice now. And these people have no backbone. They have no spine. And I'm so sick of them. 
and they talk about all oh, winning and you know they they talk in these erudite terms like they're so sophisticated and they can pull it off but this pressure campaign against them is working and they they're feeling it and they're they're, they're whining about it but here I'm going to give you the number right now it's 202-224-3121 again that's 202-224-3121 you have to call your senators look Chuck Grassley and Joni Ernst out of Ruby Red Iowa Again, not supporting Rick Scott. I could go on. There's a list. In fact, I'm going to share that with you right now. This has their emails on it. I realize that it's a little small. You're going to have to pause the video here, take a screenshot of this, and blow it up. Or you can go to my X account. I'll retweet that over there. That is in the link below. Look at that. And you've got to make sure that you're reaching out to all these people. I mean, it's endless. These are McConnell puppets, okay? That's what these people are. And they want to do business as usual in the Senate. We do not want their business as usual. We want the Trump agenda to move forward. And I am telling you right now, people, if you do not do this, if we do not get this win, here he is with the the warmonger John Thune with Zelensky. Okay, um, I'll give you more. Here's Senator John Cornyn responding to Attorney General, General Ken Paxton. It will be difficult for Jordan Cornyn to be an effective leader since he is anti-Trump, anti-gun, and will be focused on his highly competitive primary campaign in 2026. Republicans deserve better in their next leader, and Texans deserve another conservative center. And John Cornyn responded with him to him with hard to run from prison, Ken. He want, they wanted Trump to go to jail. Do you understand this? It is disrupting their way of doing business as usual. Okay, That was just this year. And now he's coming out saying he's going to be in support of the Trump agenda. I hope to God, you people in Texas, get rid of this poser. If you're in Texas, please. And I, I'm curious too in the chat, do you guys all understand how important this is? And I want to hear in the chat, how many of you are willing to call, willing to send emails today, tomorrow? Because that's all the time we've got left. Okay, this is huge. Listen to this one. GOP South Dakota Senator Thune on Trump wanting Sessions to end the Mueller investigation. This is back in 2018. He said the Mueller investigation needs to move forward. They ought to let them complete their work. I don't think any effort to truncate that investigation is in the public's best interest. They are anti-Trumpers. They are anti-Trump's agenda. I hope I've spelled that out enough. But here, I'm going to leave you with Senator Rick Scott and what he has to say. Hopefully, this helps you in terms of uh, being more comfortable with him. I really wanted Mike Lee, but Mike Lee isn't running, and Mike Lee has endorsed Rick Scott. So just please watch this on Rick Scott, and uh, please support Mike Lindell at MyPillow, MyPillow.com forward slash Lumberjack, promo code Lumberjack for big savings at MyPillow. Stand for something. Stand for something. Like, let's stand and fight over the border. Let's stand and fight over spending. Let's stand and fight over making sure Israel gets soaked. But we don't waste all the Well, how about no more it. omnibus nightmare bills that you mm. all seem to uh, consider? Not you. I mean, you don't yeah. want it. But no. those uh, throw everything in the pot and then no one can see it until the last second. Dollars, no amendment votes. So I, I did a letter to all my colleagues saying, here's what I committed. We're not doing that anymore. We're going to have a real appropriations process. We're going to we're going to figure out how to balance the budget. I balance the budget every year as governor. We should be able to do it here. You have to do it in your in your personal life.